This video is sponsored by our 30-day diet and habit change program, 1K30. Go to 1K30.com to learn more. That is so, so yummy. It's like very bright is the word I would use to describe it. Good morning, guys. It is Shalva with Life is No Yoke. I'm gonna start with our invigorating carrot juice. One of the things that I wanna get out of the way right away is that we are making whole food juices here. So a whole food juice is different than something that goes into a juicer. Um, a juicer is gonna make cold pressed juice. A whole food juice is one that is gonna keep all of the fiber um, and you put all the ingredients in and you blend it up and then you drink what comes out of it. Um, so you're gonna keep all the fiber, you're gonna keep all the nutrition and what I like about it versus juicing out of a traditional juicer is that it's less expensive because I'm using less, um, less ingredients and it's less of a mess. I don't have time to clean up all the pulp and such or think of other uses for the pulp. Um, I'm not living that life right now. So um, this is whole food juicing. We're using the Vitamix. We have been showing people how to like make juices and soups and stuff in their Vitamix for 10 years. This is what we do. You kind of have to think of us like the people that you'd see like at the state fair um, that show you, do demonstrations. They're gonna teach you all about how to use your blender. We just do it online. So now that I got all that out of the way, we are cutting up our pineapple. Um, I read somewhere that a lot of the nutrients in a pineapple come from the core. Um, so because this is all going in the blender, I'm being a lot less careful about getting all the um, kind of, I don't even know what you would call these. What are these called? I'm gonna call them dimples, the pineapple dimples. Um, so because we're using a high-speed blender, we can do the cores. If you're using a less um, strong blender to do this, I would take out just this middle piece, the core piece, because um, it's, it's more pulpy than the rest. But I know the Vitamix can handle that, so I am going to use it. So for this invigorating carrot juice, I've got pineapple. Carrots, you can use big carrots, or if you have three little kids, five and under, you can use baby carrots because those are always in your house, obviously. Um, and then we've got lemon and ginger are the flavors. So not too many ingredients to make a really bright and delicious juice. All right, I'm gonna stop there. Nope, I'm gonna do one more. One more. Choppity choppy. You can use um, frozen ingredients as well. If you have frozen pineapple on hand, um, you can obviously use that as well. Okay, so to make, I need a towel. Uh, sticky hands. Okay, to make a whole food juice, you're gonna load all the ingredients into the blender and drink what comes out. So because the Vitamix works with friction, it's using a non-sharp blade to kind of like break up all the ingredients and make it smooth like you would get at a juice bar or something. You wanna add cold ingredients. So I'm adding water, but then later I'm adding ice. So one of the biggest complaints we hear about a juice coming out of a blender is that it wasn't cold. So ice instead of water. So this one I'm using both. So I'm putting a cup and a half of water in, and then I'm gonna do the harder ingredients on top. So you always wanna load liquid first and then harder ingredients on top of that. So I've got baby carrots. I believe there's um, two cups of baby carrots. It, I think it's a cup and a half. Um, and then I'm gonna do three cups of pineapple, and that includes those cores, because I know that the Vitamix can handle that. And you'll notice that I'm not really measuring. The first few times you make a juice, you should measure because you're, whoa, flying pineapple. Because you're new to this and you wanna make sure that the ratio is right and that it tastes the way you want it to taste. I'm pretty confident in my ability to eyeball this one. So um, we'll give you the real, obviously, the real measurements um, in the comments. But um, I am doing lemon a wheel, 
about this wide and I'm leaving the peel on, the peel has so much flavor. Think about if you were making like a cookie, you would be grating the peel into the cookie to make it taste like lemon. So that's why we're using the peel also. And I'm gonna take the seeds out because the seeds are a little bit bitter, but the Vitamix can pulverize them. I just, since I can see them, they're gonna come out. Um, and then I'm gonna put in some ginger. The first time that I like created this recipe for this juice, I didn't use ginger. And I was like, ugh, something is missing. I want it to feel like brighter. I want it to be more, I want it to like pop more. And the second I added ginger, it made that big difference. So if ginger is not an ingredient that you're used to using, give it a try. Um, this is ginger root. You can buy ginger root like this at almost every grocery store now. Um, you can also buy ginger powder if you're more comfortable with that. Um, you can buy like minced ginger in the Asian food section at a lot of grocery stores now. You also can leave the skin on. The Vitamix can process ginger skin, I guess. I just prefer to do it like this. Um, it just gives it a smoother consistency, especially because we're doing a juice and not a smoothie. What's the difference between a juice and a smoothie, Shalva? Tell me. I think it's just the texture. Like a smoothie is more frozen ingredients. You need a straw to drink it, and it's like a mouthfeel of like frozen yumminess. A juice should feel like you're drinking a liquid. So that's what we're going for here. So thumb sized piece of ginger and like two and a half cups of ice. And again, doesn't have to be like perfectly measured. Just, I've got a full container here. I'm gonna put the Vitamix to work making this one. So we've got water, carrots, pineapple, lemon, ginger, ice on top. And that's it. I'm gonna let it run for probably a minute um, because I wanna make sure that it is processed all the way through. So I am going to turn my Vitamix on and slowly ramp it up to high speed. You always want to run your blender on high because that kicks in the cooling system. You probably can't hear me, but I'll clean up while we're doing this. So then I'm gonna run it on low for a second, and that just helps me get the bubbles out at the top. So a few seconds on low to get some of the bubbles out. And now I've got a bright, invigorating carrot juice. That smells so good. That smells like, um, like a beach bar. Like if you were like laying by the pool, this is something that they would serve you. Um, so we've got packed ingredients in here or packed nutrition in here and you see how smooth it is when I pour it super smooth so I could turn that into a smoothie pretty quickly by just using all frozen ingredients or ice instead of water but this is truly a juice um, if you're one of those like it has to go through a juicer to make sh sure that it's technically a juice um, you can feel free to leave that in the comments because I know that you will. Um, our family likes to make whole food juices in the Vitamix. That is just the right choice for us. We like keeping all that fiber. We don't like having a sugar spike and we don't have time to clean a juicer and this cleans itself. So that is why we go for uh, whole food juices in our house. I'm gonna taste it even though people that taste their recipes on camera always make me laugh because they're like, mm, yum. But 
I know this one's delicious, so. That's so, so yummy. It's like very bright is the word I would use to describe it. Like I said, it like, it tastes like being by the pool or something and it is disgustingly dreary out today. So this is brightening my day. It's very, um, it's not like, oh, I'm drinking carrots. It's like, oh, this is a fresh, delicious, healthy, but tasty drink. And it's really good. Yum. All right, I'm gonna clean this one up so that we can make another one. The next one we're gonna make is a celery juice. What I think makes the best celery juice is one that doesn't taste like celery. Um, I love celery, but I don't want that to be the only flavor. So we are making what we call our lower back pain relief juice. It's filled with ingredients that are anti-inflammatory, meaning they help some of the inflammation in your body, which is basically everything that makes you annoyed about your body, that hurts about your body, you can almost always boil it down to inflammation. And so anti-inflammatories are like the best thing for you. So this is another really easy recipe. Uh, we're using coconut water, but you can use regular water. We're using spinach, but you can use any green. You could use kale, you could use collard greens, you could use dandelion greens, you could use romaine lettuce if you're new to juicing. Um, and these flavors, romaine might be a good place to start. Spinach is a good place to start. Uh, we're using the rest of that pineapple and we're using celery because it's celery juice, um, and then lemon and ginger. So the goal here is that it tastes fresh and it tastes like um, you're doing something good for your body, but that you're not like drinking grass basically, because um, no one likes that. So we're gonna start with coconut water. Again, all the liquid ingredients always go in first. So I've got 11 ounces of coconut water. That's like a traditional can or box can of coconut. Um, and then I'm gonna put in my spinach, one cup of spinach, but really it's just like one big handful of any green that you have on hand. Uh, that pineapple again, you can do the cores. And then four ribs of celery. So this, a rib is like these. So I've got eight of those. Four ribs of celery is the magic number for having it taste delicious and not too celery-y. And then I'm gonna do um, the same kind of wheel with the peel. Wheel with the peel. I'm into rhyming lately with the kids. Um, in the blender with that. And then we're gonna do ginger again. I think with this one, I'll leave more of the ginger skin on just to show you that it can handle it but I do like to get some of the larger kind of nubbins out because I don't necessarily need all the extra skins in there. Okay, so I took most of it off, but I'm gonna leave some of it in, put that in. And then this one is like four or five ice cubes just to keep it cool while it's doing its work. Um, and this juice I mentioned before is called our lower back pain relief juice. We have a whole video about this juice and why you should drink this juice and how this juice is so good for you and how it can help you with your lower back pain and how it's a placebo for feeling better and all that stuff. So I'll put a card up here so that you can watch that video if you're interested. Um, it's got all the details about what this juice can do for you. But for now, I'm just teaching you how to make delicious celery juice. So here we go. Slow ramp again. I'll go for a minute.
All right, and then I'm gonna do that same trick and just let it go on its lowest speed. Do you wanna come look from the top? Come on in. And that's just gonna break up some of the bubbles in there. Celery and pineapple are like notorious ingredients for making a juice a little frothier. So if you're like no foam latte, no froth on my juice kind of a person, this juice probably isn't your best bet because it does have pineapple and it does have celery and it is gonna be a little bit foamier than some of the other ones are, even if you use the bubbles to, or use that trick to get some of the bubbles out. Um, so look at how smooth Yum. That looks like healthy in a cup. Like that's how that feels is like, oh, I'm doing something healthy. So you'll notice it looks like so beautiful and homogenous in the cup right now. Homogenous, such a good word. Meaning like everything's mixed in together and uh, smooth all the way down. In a few minutes, if you leave this out, it is going to separate. That's really natural with this juice in particular. Um, so I drink this one with a straw and I just mix it up if I've let it sit out for a minute. Um, if you're someone like Lenny's dad who is drinking green juice for like medicine, like drinks it like, I don't wanna do this, I'm just getting it down for the health benefits, just chug this one and it's delicious on the way down and then it won't do that separating on you. This juice is not the green juice that we make every morning. We make a different green juice and we can link the ingredients to like our everyday green juice. This one is a little bit more advanced, more of like an adult taste. What's cool about juicing and smoothies and all of that in general is that you can tailor everything to your taste, your family, your needs. Um, we make a blender full of our everyday green juice because we have a family of five that drinks it and three of them are children. So we make sure to make it taste sweet enough that they wanna drink it and we do that with fruit and natural things. Um, this one has a little bit more of an advanced flavor profile. Probably two out of three of our kids would drink this happily and one of them would spit it out and cry. Yum. That's spicy. I put a lot of ginger in there. Mm. Can't taste celery at all though because I put a lot of ginger in. I think if I had put less ginger in, you would be able to taste a little bit of celery. So I don't wanna be a liar and be like, make the celery juice that doesn't taste like celery. It does a tiny bit, but in a good way. Um, and if you're really uh, like sensitive to spice, I would put less ginger than I just did because this has got a kick, but it's delicious. And it tastes healthy without tasting like grass. And that's kind of always my goal with green juice. Yum. The last juice that we're making is called the Pinkman. The Pinkster. Pinkster. The Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman. The Pinkman. I like that. The Pinkman? Mm hmm The Pinkman. Cheers. Cheers. This was originally a smoothie, like I said. It can be made either way, depending on if you use frozen ingredients or fresh ingredients. So we're making juices today, so we're using fresh ingredients. Um, so. The main ingredients and the main flavors that you're gonna taste are grapefruit and strawberry. So I'm gonna use an entire grapefruit. So pretty. Um, and I am going to take the peel off because this is not a citrus fruit that you want the peel on. The pith on this, the white part is very bitter. So you do not want that, or the the white part's fine. The white part has nutrition in it. It's the peel that you don't want. The pith is yummy. Okay, grapefruit. Ooh, juicy. And I guess if I see a giant seed, I'll take it out. But... All right, so the whole grapefruit's going in. This one is, you'll notice there's no vegetables in this one. This is a fruit juice. A lot of times we try to sneak in a vegetable, especially um, for the kids or especially if you're like 
coming back from the gym and you want something um, that's like full of nutrition and flavor, you could probably add um, some greens to this. It would just make the color not appetizing. And we like to eat with our eyes. We like to make beautiful food. And so um, we don't like to add greens to things that have like a red base because it turns it brown um, and that isn't appetizing. So we got a whole uh, grapefruit and then I'm gonna add some strawberries. I didn't need to cut it like this. I'm like on auto mode for school lunches. That's funny. I just need to take the um, strawberry tops off. Although the Vitamix could blend them. I don't know what that would do. How would that taste? I don't wanna find out. Um, so strawberries, grapefruit, and then strawberries are already pretty sweet obviously, um, but we're going to use an apple as well. That is going to help with um, kind of cutting some of the bitterness from the grapefruit, but also just adding extra nutrition because um, the whole apple skin and everything apple peel is going in. Um, and again, we're making whole food juices, which have all of the fiber and all of the seeds and all of the peels because there's nutrition in all of those things. Um, and I am not one to skimp on nutrition. So we're gonna put the whole apple in, including the peel. I am gonna cut these because I feel like um, sometimes the huge wedge gets lodged under the blade. So I do like to kind of um, help the Vitamix along. So full apple in there and then I'm just noticing that all three of these juices have ginger in them. Um, and if that's not an ingredient that you like, just skip it. It just, I think, helps elevate the, the flavor profile. But if you're like a simple, I just wanna make some juice today and you don't have fresh ginger and you don't wanna do powdered ginger, just don't. Like all three of these juices would be totally fine without ginger. The ginger is like a bonus, kick it up a notch make it slap you in the face good. Um, but it is a skippable ingredient, I would say. So another kind of thumb-sized piece of ginger is going in. And then again, because friction is doing the work in here, I am going with about a cup of ice just to keep it cool so that I can drink it right as it comes off the blender. So this recipe, the Pinkman, is one of the recipes that we've included in our um, pain in the mouth cookbook. This is a cookbook that we send to dentists and oral surgeons and stuff for after you've had a procedure and your mouth hurts. Uh, we're kind of a natural uh, go-to for those kinds of recipes that you can eat without chewing. So smoothies, soups, frozen desserts, basically anything that you can not chew that's nutritious, filling, and delicious. So this book is full of stuff like that and you can get it at your local orthodontist or oral surgeon. And we'll set a link down here um, for that also so that you can request it. But the Pinkman is in here as a smoothie um, as well. So if you wanna see some of the pages, soup, tomato soup, some of the soups we made in a video last week, frozen, um, desserts and then our like go-to all-time fave is our blueberry pancakes filled with superfoods delicious all right let's blend this guy up so pinkman again i'm going to slowly ramp from one to ten and then let it blend for a full minute if you are scared of blending at level 10 don't be your vitamix is made to blend on high that's its job. It's a racehorse. It's a race car. Like it, it's made to blend on its highest level because that's when the cooling um, fan kicks in. It knows it's working hard. It wants to be on 10. So we start at one and then we slowly ramp.
turning it down to one does that bubble trick, but it also helps you check to see if there's any like random, just in case something is hasn't been processed yet. When you turn it down to one, you can kind of hear it bang against the um, blades and that lets you know that you just need to blend it for another minute or so, or another few seconds. Um, so this is the Pinkman Grapefruit Strawberry Juice. Now, of course, if you're like anti-pulp, if you're like, I cannot stand one ounce of pulp in my mouth, you could always strain whole food juices. Um, you could get a strainer and pour this juice through it. And I still think that's easier than doing it with like a traditional juicer, personally. Uh, let's try this one. Let's get every cup in the house dirty. Why not? That tastes like summer. Like I'm drinking summer, basically. This is so good. This is maybe even better than the smoothie version, the juice, for yum. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of like, I would add vodka to this is just what I'm trying to say, or tequila, that's what I'm trying to say. Or even rum, any clear booze I think would be absolutely delicious in this because it's got like the sourness of the grapefruit, but then it's sweet because of the strawberries and the apple. It's like very delicious. I'm, this is the best one. Mm. Yum. All right. Before, um, before I let you take some pretty shots of all three of these together so that we have a thumbnail that makes you want to click on our video, um, I do want to show you how easy it is to clean up after these juices because I keep saying like, no, I don't want to use a juicer because it's so much easier to clean. Let me show you why I'm saying that. Um, So I've got my, I'm just going to pour this in here because I'm obviously not going to pour it down the drain. I've got my dirty container. All I'm going to do is use warm water, rinse down the sides like this, give it a quick dump. And honestly, I could stop there and it's like perfectly clean. But if you want to get like uh, sanitary about it, you could add a drop of soap. Do the same with the lid here. Quick rinse, warm water. Throw the lid on. Okay, and if you have a Vitamix that has a preset uh, for the wash cycle, you press the little bubbly one. I'm using the A3500 today. This is like the top of the line, uh, amazing blender that lives on our counter every day. You do not need the best blender to make any of these three juices. Uh, a Vitamix is gonna be the best bet for making these delicious and smooth and amazing and taste like a juice bar. But we have a whole website that will show you which Vitamix is best for you. So it doesn't have to be the A3500 like I'm using. But because I do have that, I am gonna use the preset wash cycle. All right, and that is it. So now I dump out the soapy water and rinse it again. And even all of you like diehard juice fans, juicer fans, there's no way you can tell me that that is harder than cleaning a juicer that's full of pulp and you have to like scrape out the innards of all of the fruit that you've used. Like this is so easy and it's done and it's clean. And that is all. Okay, so. Close it out, Shalva. All right, this is like.
basically the prettiest lineup I could think of. And I'm so proud of our three invigorating juices this morning. Um, these are all really easy, really tasty, and packed full of nutrition. So if you're like on your Vitamix journey or on a health journey or needing a change because of a health condition, juices are where it's at. They're the easiest long-term uh, like change maker for you. I don't know how to say that in the right way, but basically juice is where it's at for quick nutrition that tastes good that you'll want to do. Like all three of these taste good and I want to drink them. Like we are going to chug these when the camera turns off. Um, and I hope that you feel that way too after you drink them. Um, so we made a celery juice, sorry. We made a carrot juice, we made a celery juice, and we made a grapefruit strawberry juice. And all three of these you can make in your Vitamix. Um, and we love making them with you and it was fun to hang out this morning. So if you guys like videos like this, uh, subscribe. And we are so happy to have you here. And if you want, leave a comment below and tell us what we should make next. We made soups, we made juice, maybe we'll do some frozen desserts or something. Give us some ideas. We're happy to do um, these types of videos while our kids are at daycare. Um, thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.